Hey everyone, it's the Tech Zone here. I'm going to show you how to create a uh, wallpaper in Adobe Photoshop CS4, which has sort of like these uh, XMB waves, which is my newest wallpaper. And uh, it has the XMB kind of waves. And um, I'm going to show you how to create that. Now, you get these XMB waves in um, a PS3 and PSP XMB, but um, it's not going to be exactly the same. I'll just show you how to make it. It's pretty much an easy thing to do. So I'm have uh, I'm gonna use Photoshop CS4 extended. We're gonna make a new project. Sorry. Okay. It's gonna be the size of your resolution. That's one three six eight and seven six eight. That's mine. Just find out what yours is. Now we need to f uh, fill the background. So what we're gonna do is select the green tool, select on the top, and change the colors to whatever you want. So um, I selected black to dark blue. And once we're done just gonna drag a line and now we made this now we're gonna make a new layer on top okay so you create a blank new layer and this is where you're gonna draw the waves creating the waves is not as hard as you think you can select the, select the paint tool and uh, go to the paint options open the drop down menu and gonna select calligraphic brushes Click OK. Select the number 28 one, and after that, there are two number 28s. So you're going to select the first one, thin one, and uh, change the diameter to whatever you like. I'll select 40. And now, just draw as free as you like. I'm just going to select white. This is how it should look like. Uh, they don't really look anything. We're going to change that later. So let's draw another one. And we'll draw one more. If you want, you can put as much as you like. It doesn't matter. And uh, after that, we're going to select the blending options off that layer. And after that, you can change whatever you, you like. Drop shadow, inner shadow. Inner shadow adds like the shadow inside. Uh, but uh, I'm not really going to change anything over here. I'm just... Uh, going to leave everything as it is. You, ca you can change the settings to whatever you like. It doesn't matter. But what we need to do now is for the opacity, we're going to reduce it. Because we want to make it look a little transparent for it. So uh, that should look a little nice. And if you want to change the color, just right click, blending options, color overlay. And uh, change the color to whatever you like. Let's make a little blue. Like... Um like that or you can choose as a gradient but I'm not going to choose a gradient and once you're done now this is not the final result we want to give it like these waves look to do that you're going to go to filter liquify and now uh, it's hard to see them I suggest when you're starting to make them what you should do is like start off with uh, the black color so if you're going to change the color later then you can easily see it here, but I can't see it well. Yeah, I can see the white strips. So let's. Uh, you're gonna select the forward warp tool, but what I really recommend is uh, choosing the pucker tool, and then you're just gonna move around while holding it. The waves should start getting a little narrow, making it a little bit like smoke or whatever you call it. Anyway, you like it. Uh, so let's just go like this. Let's click OK. And this is how our waves look like now. So it looks nice, but I want to uh, like just push it a little off. Now you're going to select the forward warp tool where you can push the waves to wherever you like. You can just push them away or forward. It doesn't matter. And then push a little down. Just push it where you like. It doesn't matter just to make it more realism I'm just gonna move this down because too close right over there okay that should do it let's click OK this is how our uh, waves look like now now since it, uh, it's a little too bright I'm just gonna reduce the opacity here's my advice choose a better background next time okay I'll just select uh, not black, a little bit lighter. 
that should do it. Uh, so that's about it. So now you have successfully created a couple of waves. You can put as much as you like. Um, but for this tutorial, I'm going to only create three. So, um, yep, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, why don't you subscribe for more? So, um, thanks for watching and have a great day.